nearly made it. I don't know who any of them is. Don't think I want to. It's Mark Hill, the film star. He's very famous. Never heard of him. Well, the one who nearly knocked you over, Paul, you must know him. Mm. Can he act? Really, born? Of course he can. Well, long you can't. <laughs> There's a couple of English couple over there. No, don't. don't. No. You owe me a foot, right? Uh -huh. Now, what you got to do? It's rather good. Also, he used to be very beautiful. Some people think he still is. Including you. Hmm? Right, fine. Now, you fine. Yeah? Make, make it look real, yeah? Yeah. You struggle, then you come up once or twice. Take the mask off first. What are they doing? Would you believe Blind Man's buff? A blonde one's an actor, too. Uh, Ivan something or other. They did a picture together years ago, played father and son. He was fantastic. Uh, the blonde one. Yeah. <coughs> Two. Three. Oh. The stupid idiots. But he's all tied up. <laughs> No, 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 no. You didn't know how to do it. Oh! 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 <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm so sorry. Piet there has just won a bet that he couldn't get you to jump in fully clothed. A game. For fun. That's all. Fun. I see. I really must do something about my sense of humour. Could you take that uh, <laughs> gentleman in the yellow? Uh, Who's <laughs> no, but I did. Anyway, Steve went back on the plane, and I waited. No, 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 that's not for me. Huh? Oh, uh, yes, all right. Mark Hill, the actor. He played a silly joke on Paul this morning. This is his way of saying sorry. Are they friends of yours? No, no. Uh, you know them? No. Nope. Well, I suppose I'd better acknowledge his generous presence. I don't actually like champagne in the middle of the day. It makes me go to sleep. <laughs> Not that there's any fear of that today, is there? Are you watching, Captain? I keep a pin handy just in case. Do you mind if I interrupt you again? <laughs> May I introduce myself? Mark Hill. Of course, I know who you are already. Oh, yeah. Uh, my wife, Steve. Oh, it's unfair to be such a brilliant writer and to have so beautiful a wife. Uh, Captain De Bono, Mr. Mark Hill. I'm very pleased to meet you. Well, will you? Um... Uh, no, no, thank you. I'm not so pleased. Well, thank you for the champagne. Very kind of you. Not at all necessary. The least I could do. <laughs> not at all. I hope it's to your liking. It's what I always drink myself. It is not too dry. <laughs> What I also wanted to say, Mrs. Temple, when I found out that the gallant hero by the pool is the Paul Temple, was would you both have dinner with me? But I gather that the weather is deteriorating and I shall have to leave this afternoon. So perhaps I may have that pleasure when I come back. Well, that depends on when you come back, doesn't it? If you'll dine with me, I'll come back as soon as possible. We'll have to see you, won't we? Are you going far, Mr. Hill? Uh, early to go, sir. Well, uh, I'll see you next week. So sorry. Please, there's nothing to apologize for. You know, I rather think, in spite of it all, he's got something. Indeed, he has. I quite took to him. 
Well, yeah. that darling is the privilege of somebody who's young and beautiful and female, but it's a good thing you're married. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to uh, make you hurry, but the promise will be there. Oh, of course, yes. Now, darling, are you sure? Absolutely positive. I'm on a holiday and I mean to keep it that way. I promise I'll let you have him back soon. All right. I'll, uh, I'll see you around six. Are they deserting you? Hello. Yes, isn't it terrible? Paul insists on working. Iniquitous. Your book's going to have to be even more sensational to justify that. <laughs> Why don't you come with me? I'm just going over to Gozo at least as soon as my boat is ready. Pity you can't both come, you know, just, just for the ride. Have some dinner at my house. You'll enjoy it. Well, that's a lovely idea. Paul, do you mind? No, 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 of course not. It's very kind of Mr. Hill. Oh, Mark, please, please. We'll look after her for you very well. Anything you want to get from your room? No, I'll come as I am. Oh, how's she going to get back? I'll put her onto the last ferry. You can collect her from Marfa Point. All right. Well, uh, my car's over there, darling. Nice toy, isn't it? It's fabulous. Do you use it for long journeys? Oh, across the Atlantic, for instance. Uh, no, I don't. I could, though. I've got a big one for that. Bigger? Hmm. It's too big for the harbour that we're heading for. That's why I use this. In fact, that's why I bought it. You have to understand, Steve. And this is just the dinghy he uses to ferry people out to the real boat. My goodness, how big is the real one, then? It's big enough. We could see it when we come back. Great. Mark Hills. Well, what is? The smallest of those ships over there. Hmm. You don't have a professional interest in him, do you? Ah, uh, a custom software has a professional interest in anyone at all at some time. The boat is very comfortable. You've been round it? Twice. Not on business? Searching it. I didn't find anything. But you expected to, eh? Kind of. I wanted to make him very aware of our existence. I see my job as a deterrent a lot of the time. Perhaps we've deterred him. From doing what, exactly? He's always playing games. Oh. He's never serious. I know, I was involved. I thought it was very brave. Slightly uh, foolhardy under the circumstances. But heroes have to be there. Oh, Paul's no hero. At least I've never thought of him as one. He's too intelligent. No man ever is a hero to his wife. Woman. He's a lot older than you, isn't he? A little. How many years? Paul is 35. He certainly doesn't look it. You make him sound like the old man of the sea. By the way, how much was the bet for? That wasn't a bet. That was my forfeit. Forfeit for what? Losing a game. A game of what? Some people call it hide-and-seek. Our version is called manhunt. It's the same thing, really. Almost. Except that ours is more exciting. Oh? What's the difference? None. Really. One. One what? One difference when we play a game, sweetheart. I was asking why your manhunt is better than hide and seek. Mark. That's all. Mark? Mm hmm. Anything Mark does, anything, is always totally for real and much more exciting. Am I right, Maria? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? They're like tiresome children, Mrs. Temple, always bickering. Don't you take any notice? 
All the divan was trying to say is that Mark is totally ruthless and single-minded in everything he does. That makes life with him just that little bit more exciting than life with anyone else. I've been hearing about your passion for playing games. Mind cutting, darling? A card trick. No. To pick teams. Three highest against the three lowest. Right. That's uh, Alexis, Juliet, and Ivan against me, Maria, and Piet. One of your games? You may call it a game. It's something you play. It's not. Not to me. To me, it's like work. Something I do until I die. But to that extent, it's a game. What about me? Well, you can toss. All right. What am I tossing? Heads. Heads it is. All right. Now you all know the rules. We can start as soon as you like. Aren't I allowed to play? Of course. You're the game. Paul? Yes? Are you sure Mark Hill's yacht is not returning tonight? Yes, yes, sure. That's why Steve has to catch the last ferry back. Did you find out what time it's due? It's already on its way back from Gozo. It gets in here at about half past three, then returns to Gozo at half four. It doesn't come back? Not until morning. And uh, if you ask me, I think it stays there for longer than just the night. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, well, uh, at this time of the year, currents are bad. It sometimes don't return before um, five days or six days together. Excuse me. Mark's all right when you get to know him. I imagine he wants the rights in one of your husband's books on the cheap. He'll find that extremely difficult. Paul's agent is as tough as nails. So is Paul. But you're not, are you? Tougher than you'd think. That wouldn't be difficult. What Ivan is suggesting, Mrs. Temple, is that the only possible reason for Mark inviting you along is to get something out of you. Perhaps because he likes me. Had you thought of that? It passed through my mind. Take no notice of Ivan, Steve. He was born rude. He has no manners and very little talent. I couldn't vouch for his talent. Right. Have you got a telephone up at the house? We do indeed. Why? I thought I'd phone Paul and tell him what time the ferry gets in. By all means. What ferry were you thinking of? The one I'm going back on. Oh. Were you thinking of leaving tonight? Well, yes, that was the idea. You were going to send me down to the ferry in the car. So I shall, dear, when there is one to send you to. to it. I always like my visitors to have their first glimpse of here. Come and behold and wonder at the works of man, of Mark. Is it that fantastic, then? It's quite nice. First glimpse, I'd say it was okay. 
the English flair for understatement. It is okay, I'll grant that. And as you'll be staying with us for a bit, I hope that you'll enjoy my home as much as I do. I'm sure I shall. Don't be too sure. Looking for something? Yes, the telephone. I want to phone my husband. Over there. What do I do? Um, lift the receiver and say something to it, dear. Oh, do they speak English? D depends who they're talking to. Hello? It sounds dead. Yes, it probably is. You have to dial eight for Malta. What's wrong with it? It seems quite dead. Well, that's probably because it's been cut off. Mark couldn't stand it. People kept ringing up. Then the parish priest came one day and wanted to borrow it. Mark was slightly stoned. He lent it to him. Like that. The priest wasn't at all grateful. Uh, how am I going to phone my husband? Well, Mark promised me there was a phone up here. Well, there is. The priest left it here. I should like to phone my husband. Can you tell me if there's a phone in the village? Yes, dear. Well, would you mind telling me where? Straight through there. Ask anyone. They all know the way around here. They don't know much about anything else, though. Hello, darling. <laughs> Leaving so soon? Thought you'd packed up and gone. Why? Why should I? I'm Mark's guest. Please. I was only making conversation. Of course, you'd rather I didn't talk to you. I was trying to telephone my husband. Yes. Had obviously failed. I'll phone again later. He was out. To say what, precisely? That I'm stuck here. Oh. Aren't you enjoying yourself? Not much. I'd rather be with my husband. You didn't have to come. Nobody had to lie to me about the ferry. Oh, now, come now, wait a minute. That was a perfectly genuine error, a mistake that anybody could have made. Generally, they sail up till 10 o'clock at night. Except when? Except in the off-season. As it happens, although Mark obviously wasn't aware of it, that's now. When to when? October through April, I believe. Not April at all. March. Oh, don't worry, darling. You'll get it one day. I hope you'll be comfortable in your room. It's opposite mine. Come and sit down, dear. Did you talk to Paul? He was out. Oh. No sooner is your back turned than you find he's going out. I know exactly where he is. He's doing some research. Yes, I bet he is. 
Do you really know? Yes. Always. Oh, how boring for both of you. We don't think so. You mean you don't? I tell you what. Where is he now? Paul, I mean. Exactly where? Well, exactly, I can't say. But he's with Captain de Bono and they're going over Fort St. Angelo together. Either that or in his way back from the hotel. I bet you any amount you like he's not. Ask him tomorrow. Or whenever you see him next. If you see him, that is. Why shouldn't I? Well, you might decide you don't want to. Oh, he might. He might think it's a heaven-sent opportunity to go off with his pet floozy on Malta. We're perfectly happy together. You were? Well, nothing's changed. Why should it? Still, will you bet? All right. Ten bob. Oh, well, if that's all. Very well. Ten bob against ten pounds. I'll give you ten pounds if you're right. And I won't accept a check. <laughs> How are we doing, darling? Would you believe winning? I thought you'd won just now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are clever. How do you do it, dear? Oh, influence and money, of course. You're not going to eat them. Of course, darling. The Maltese do. It's a great delicacy here, you know. <laughs> what did you expect? Well, those aren't birds you eat. Well, they and we do. You don't have to, but I assure you, they're delicious. What are? Piet just brought in a whole string of songbirds, and they say we're going to have them for supper. Did he? Clever fella. Who's cooking? Piet is. But you can't eat them. Darling, you don't have to worry about the bones or anything. You can eat everything except the beak of the feet. You don't look very well, dear. I'm quite all right, thank you. I just think it's obscene, that's all. Darling, they don't suffer. It's not like lobsters, and I bet you've eaten them. You've gotten into the wrong team, darling. Darling, I wasn't even playing. Don't you think it's about time we consolidated our position? Mm. No violence, mind. <laughs> yes? What do you want? Can I come in? Good heavens. Fantastic. Do. Hello, darling. You're having a lovely time. Well, I do hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, uh, not at all. We were in the middle of a game. Ivan was just going for the end play. Oh. Is that what Ivan was going for? I suppose that's the end of the game. Well, I don't see why it should be. We can just as easily play with two. Oh, indeed we can. Steve's obviously been having a ball. I wouldn't like to feel I was missing anything. How did you get here? How did you know? I found out about the ferry. Oh, I'm so sorry. My stupid mistake. You will stay the night, won't you? Yes. Well, we don't seem to have much alternative. <laughs> now, tell us about the game. Oh, just a game. We sometimes play. Scare the guests away by morning? Something like that? <laughs> A little more than that. I think you'd better tell us the rules. Well, it's just for fun. You must understand that. Oh, I'm enjoying myself immensely. Yes? Two teams, hmm? Three each. No. Are uh, the guests? Oh, the guests. <laughs> team A, that's uh, Beard and Maria. That's my team. They try to make you enjoy your stay here. And uh, Team B? Well, they try to make them, <laughs> the guests, leave a little earlier. Like uh, before breakfast tomorrow morning? <laughs> I think that's a fascinating idea. Marvellous. Mar I must use it in my next book. I'm sure it'll catch on. What do you call it? Must have a name. It's not got a name. Oh, but that's absurd. No, 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 let, let's all try and think of a 
catchy, fun type name for it, hmm? Um, let's see, what about hate? Now, there you are, you see. There's my house gift to you. The name of your game is hate. Now then, so that you can all get on with it uh, without a couple of fuddy-duddies like us getting in the way, I think Stick and I will just go for a little walk and then we'll go to bed early. <laughs> oh, and if we could have a little dinner, just, you know, omelettes, a glass of wine, sent up to our room, I promise you, you won't even know we're here until breakfast. I think that's very funny. <laughs> I think that's very funny. It means you've probably won the game. Well, don't you think it's funny? Well, then laugh, you stupid bitch! <laughs> <laughs>